An Illinois native is making us Chicago proud this morning. Kyle Prater has transi transitioned his pro football career into being a filmmaker, using his talents to inspire others. And he also spends time giving back to youth throughout the state. He's joining us now to talk more about his post football life. And thank you for joining us. I hope you had a really good holiday. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Happy holidays to you all as well. Absolutely. So tell me, in your experience, your own transition from sports to, to a different life, what advice would you offer other athletes and, and just people out there that are, that are transitioning into a next step here? The one advice I would tell guys and, you know, men and women is just to, you know, put their egos away, you know, coming from the football field and coming from a, such a highly established, you know, organization and you know place a corporation plan for something like that you know you really have to like put the ego aside and really tap into your other self outside of the game and you know for me it was really just trying to re-identify with you know the things that I love to do and that's you know giving back you know telling stories you know I always loved film growing up and um you know I just put my passion into that yeah tell me a little bit about your filmmaking the projects that you guys that you're doing because um that storytelling aspect is just so important well, I, I think storytelling is important. I think it's a lost art. And I think right now with everything that's happening today is, you know, with the pandemic and us being isolated, having to be home, you know, I had a chance to really, uh, really tap into another side of me. And that's my storytelling and just, you know, and that's what happened with this film, uh, Samples of Life as well. That's what we got to. Yeah. So Samples of Life, right? This is the third short film. And, and what parts of your life did those three films take place and, and chronicle for us? Well, they were all during like that transitional period. It's actually funny to be at this third film because all three films, you know, basically are like the blueprint to like having to deal with, you know, transition and how I transition. And I wanted people to see themselves, you know, through these films as they watch me go through it and watch me as a creative in this most recent film as an artist, you know, going through the pandemic and just being alone and having to use that time to really tap into my artistry. Yeah. Well, what's next for you, man? <laughs> I mean, what's next is basically to just, you know, right now to tell these stories on a bigger level, um, not just myself, but also other men and women that are transitioning, but also just setting this blueprint for uh, the youth to know that they can be other than, they could be more than an athlete. You know, I worked with Uninterrupted and we did a film, the Glass Summer series that we was just trying to show people how to be themselves outside the game and not just put themselves in that box as far as just being an athlete and knowing that they can expand and do things outside of what the universe and society wants them to do and be. Absolutely. You can be a multifaceted person, right? That's, that's the most beautiful thing about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, well, thank you so much, Kyle. Thanks for sharing, uh, sharing some of your stories with us today, and thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it. But thank you all. Absolutely. We've got more on Kyle's production company, how you can see his new film right at abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.